What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Candy C in the Kitchen. I'm your girl, Candy C, and you are in the place to be. And today I'm making chili. I am making two kinds of chili. One that is kid friendly and one that is adult friendly. So the kid friendly is gonna be without all the extra peppers and onions and spice and the one for adults will have the peppers and onions and it'll be a little spicy. Because the way I like my chili, the kids don't like it. So we're gonna do two versions of chili today. So, so make sure you like this video Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, and let's get to cooking. All right, y'all, so what we're gonna do is we are going to ground the meat first. I'm gonna use ground beef. Of course, you can use ground turkey, you can use ground chicken, you can mix it and do half beef, half turkey, half turkey, half chicken. You can add some sausage to it, whatever your heart's desire. I actually meant to pick up some uh, Italian sausage or some type of spicy sausage to put in the one for um, for the adults to eat, but I forgot. So it's just gonna be ground beef. So I'm actually gonna split the ground beef in half, half for the kids, half for us. Pans have already been preheated. So do half in this pan for us and half in this for them. And I'm going to put the onions and peppers in the one for us. And I'm going to add them now because I don't want them too crunchy in the chili. So I'm going to add them now to give it um, time to soften up and cook down. You know what's funny? As I'm sitting here making a different version for my kids and then making a different version for us, I was like, when I was growing up, we didn't really have an option on what we ate. It wasn't any making separate meals and um, catering to what me and my sister liked. It was, hey, this is what I cooked. You're going to eat it whether it's Brussels sprouts or, you know, my mom put in canned mushrooms in the lasagna. We didn't have an option. And I often find myself trying to cater to my children because I do want them to enjoy my food and I do want them to eat all their food. So I do stuff like this, make separate um, meals for them or kind of tweak it for them just so that they will enjoy it because I don't I don't like having to sit there and monitor you eating and having to say you know oh you better eat all that and I don't really like doing that so I just rather make them stuff that I know that they'll like I was wondering if any of y'all are the same way. Do you just cook whatever and then your children just have to deal with it? Or did you go through that as a child? Or do you just make it easy for yourself and give them what they like? Now there's sometimes where I will cook something just because I want them to try it and I want them to like it. And they're like, oh, I don't like it. And I'm like, look, I cooked it, at least try it at least eat as much as you can. And they'll sit there and pick through their food and, oh, mommy, is that an onion? And they'll like take it out. <laughs> it's crazy. But yeah, I was just thinking about that as I'm sitting here making two separate versions of chili. It's like, but I wouldn't even put them through the torture of the way I like my chili because I like my chili spicy. So I wouldn't even put them through that. So their meat is actually done. And 
this one is still cooking. simmer so that it can infuse like all the seasonings together and then probably in about I don't know 20 to 30 minutes I'll taste it to see if I need to add any additional seasonings to it so I'm gonna move it to the back burner on simmer and I'm gonna cover it simple to make all you're doing is just dumping stuff in one pot chilies. Just dump that in. I'm just going to 
gonna stir it all together. And just like the other one, I'm gonna put the lid on it and I'm going to let it simmer and cook on low for about 20 to 30 minutes. And then I will come back and I will taste both of them to see if I need to add anything additional to it. So, we'll be back in 20 minutes. Coco. All right, y'all, it's been about 30 minutes or so that I had both of them cooking. I have the adult version in the crock pot and I have the kids version here on the stove. I'm going to taste the adult version and I'm going to have my daughter taste the kids version and we're going to see if they need anything added to it and how it tastes. So, now mind you this is going to be over rice with some cheese and a side of cornbread. Maybe, um, shoot, I don't even have any green onions to like sprinkle on top, that's okay. So this is what the adult, why do you saying the adult? This is what the adult version looks like. And this is what the kids look like. So go ahead and taste that, Christina. And I'm gonna taste this one. <laughs> it's good. <clears throat> A little spicy. Spicy. That's spicy. It's really spicy. She's like, how is her spicy? I didn't even put anything spicy in it. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. All right, taste this one. Taste this one. That's not spicy. Yeah, not spicy. No. There's no way yours is spicy. Let me try. Ah! So they're tripping because they're saying that the one that I made them is spicy. I tasted both. It tastes really good to me. Theirs don't even taste spicy to me. Mine tastes spicier and it's awesome and it's great. I wouldn't even add anything to either one of them. So thank y'all for watching. Ooh, that's good. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to me if you have not already done so. And I will see y'all next time. Bye. Don't listen to what people say they don't know about, about you and me. Put it out your mind, cause it's jealousy. They don't know this here we pay for chasing yeah we own it